This is the Transformers Generations Studio Series number 67 from Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Voyager Class Constructicon Skipjack. Finally, we, fi we have the last and final piece you need to make a movie accurate Revenge of the Fallen Devastator. Here you go. I picked up this figure from R Toys. And here is Skipjack out of packaging, looking absolutely glorious, even though we did not see him in robot mode in Revenge of the Fallen. I think the colors uh, of Skipjack fit this mold better. He's obviously a repaint, a straight up repaint, redeco of the Voyager class Constructicon Rampage. He's got the same diorama that we've gotten from Rampage and the rest of the Constructicons, the pyramids of Giza. And yeah, the figure looks great. There's hardly any mold degradation that at least I can spot uh, for this copy of the figure that I got. Everything seems to be tight. Everything's in order. I'm very, very pleased with the way this repaint came out. Just like Rampage, he does have this sort of four-pegged, four-legged stand like that. You can mount him there so you don't have any difficulty just having him in robot mode standing up on your collection, in your shelf. And I noticed that if you twist the base this way and you form like an X instead of a cross, he's actually a lot more stable that way. So pretty cool. He does come with his, his weapons just like Rampage. I just stuck him right here because I don't really see him using any uh, guns at this point. Just like Rampage, he uses his whips and he just uses his jackhammer fighting style. And for some size comparisons, here he is with Rampage. Like I said earlier in the video, I think the Skipjack colors fit this mold better. Take nothing away from Rampage. I love this figure. And if you look back at the Rampage figures in the old Revenge of the Fallen toy line, we had Hasbro and Takara. Takara's red Rampage actually looked a lot better than the yellow Rampage from Hasbro. But in this situation, I do believe the yellow Skipjack is a much better looking figure than Rampage. Let's take a closer look at both these head sculpts. The paint apps seem to be the same for the for both figures. The silvers are the same, black paint, gray. Uh, it just appears brighter on Rampage right here because red, the red is the red plastic is a darker color which really makes the colors the paint apps pop on this figure than this one but the yellow with the silver actually I think is a better aesthetic for the mold but it looks like they just copied the same thing they just remolded uh, everything the, all that was red here or brick red right here they've turned it into this canary yellow and they kept the paint apps identical this is a very well played figure by Hasbro making collectors buy the exact same figure at a different paint apps. This is classic Hasbro. This is how they always do their Transformers. So transformation for the figure is essentially the same as Rampage. We're not gonna go through that. I'm not gonna waste your time with transformation. If you wanna see how he transforms, go check out my Rampage review. And here is Skipjack in his bulldozer alt mode. Still looks great. Actually, transformation for this figure was actually a lot easier than Rampage but still tight. I don't know how to explain it, but the joints were tight, the tabs were tight, but it was a much easier uh, transformation for me. Some parts were a little bit softer than usual, easier to tab in for some reason. He rolls fantastic, no mold degradation anywhere in sight for this figure. And here is Skipjack together with Rampage, also in alt mode in their construction vehicle, bulldozer alt modes. And I, I still think the Skipjack colors fit this mold, even in alt mode, than the Rampage version, but they still look great. And let's just skip right to the chase and let's go to why we're really doing this video and it's to see the combined mode of Skipjack to form a color accurate, screen accurate Devastator. Let's get to that combined mode right now. And here we have Revenge of the Fallen Devastator in combined mode once again. And instead of Rampage for his left leg, 
I've replaced him with Skipjack. And I agree, the aesthetics are better, it's more movie accurate. It's simply a better looking Devastator with Skipjack. Now, if you follow the instructions that Hasbro sent us, together with all these toys down to the letter, this is how Devastator should look like as per the instructions, which uh, it really does look funny, kind of looks squat. And if you've never seen the movie Revenge of the Fallen, or you've only known Transformers as the G1 Transformers or Generations Transformers, you'll absolutely think that this combined mode is ridiculous and funny looking and you would probably wouldn't even think twice of passing up on this set. But if you grew up or if you really were into the Bayverse, Movieverse Transformers franchise, this is an absolutely wonderful piece to add to your collection. So there you have it, folks. That was my review of the Transformers Studio Series Voyager Class Constructicon Skipjack. Now, is it a question of whether should I get Skipjack or should I just be okay with Rampage? I, th I don't think it's an either or situation because if you're collecting all the movieverse, all the Revenge of the Fallen Constructicons, we did see Rampage battle it out with Bumblebee and we do see a Skipjack Constructicon form into Devastator. So if you want my opinion, I think you should get both. I think both figures are amazing. It's a great mold. And I think Hasbro did a wonderful job in doing a redeco and repaint of this mold. The figure is obviously going to get a nine and a half out of 10 for me. I think the Devastator combined mode looks a lot better aesthetically and more accurate with the Skipjack leg instead of Rampage. Needless to say, you're gonna need Rampage as well to complete your Constructicons. Let me know in the comment section what you think of the Skipjack Constructicon figure. Is he something you're gonna hunt for or you're gonna wait for on clearance or you're just gonna be happy and content with just having Rampage? Or better yet, are you just going to wait for that entire gift set that Hasbro and Takaratomi are releasing? with all the Constructicons except Rampage. Hit me up in the comment section, and as always, hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. If it's your first time here, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.